Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about solving simple equation. Okay, so we will be trying to solve um, equations. Uh, we see simple, it's just uh, involving one variable. No? Algebraic equations uh, involving one variable. But before that, we will have some um, concepts. No? We will try to difference or to differentiate the, the two terms, no? the expression and an equation. So I have here, uh, I will write here the expression, so 3x minus 1. So this is what we called as an algebraic expression. No? So it's just a statement no? in which... It has an operation for this one. It is a a um, subtraction, no? and it is an algebraic because we have here a variable. So this is an algebraic expression. Now, for instance, we have three x minus one is equal to x. So this is not what this is now what we called as algebraic equation. Okay. So an algebraic equation. So as we um said earlier so this part is an expression no? so we call this one the left side expression no? and this is another expression which is the right side so meaning an algebraic equation is two expressions which is um which is joined by an equal sign so the equal sign here this one uh denotes that the left side expression is equal to the right side expression. So whatever value does this uh, expression here, the left side, uh, will be will become once we substitute x. It will be also the value in here. That, okay. So that is what we called as an algebraic equation. So this is the type of equation that we are going to solve. So very simple because we only it only involves one variable. Okay. So for this, in order for us to solve this type of equation, so we'll use our um, basic, no, basic um, knowledge in algebra. So first, we have the operations, no, or the algebraic operations. So how to add um, terms, no, so the combined like terms, as we call that one. Then we'll also have the uh, law of precedence, no. When you say law of precedence, so that is what part of a certain expression that we are going to evaluate first so we have here the uh, the bracket no? the power or the exponent okay then we have multiplication division addition and subtraction so that is the law of precedent and also if an instance there uh, there is a a expression that will be having a exponent so we will use the law of exponents okay so now let's proceed to our first example so we have 2x plus 5 is equal to 7 so in here we are going to solve for the value of x okay so the very first thing to do okay so we have here our solution is first we will write the given equation here so the very first thing to do is to have our uh, x, no? the term that has an x, uh, to be left alone in this side of the equation. So, so by doing that, so we need to eliminate, no? or we need to find a way that our five will be eliminated, or the value of five will be equal to zero. Okay, so we have two x plus five. So if we are going to have our five equal to zero, so we need to deduct also five, so that five minus five will be equal to zero. Then we have seven. So whatever that we are that we uh, that we do, no, or wh whatever we added on this part of the equation, the left side, must be also the same, no, on this right side of the equation. So here we deducted five, so we must also deduct five here. Okay, so this will now be equal to zero. So we have two x is equal to seven minus five, so that will be equal to two. Then two have the value only of x so we need to divide both sides by 2 so to, so that the 2 here will be cancelled out no same as here so our x is equal to 1 
Okay? So that is the value of our x for this example. Okay? Next, we have 8 minus 3t is equal to 2. Okay? So, first, we'll need to rewrite our um, equation, given equation, 8, 3t is equal to 2. Then, we must find a way to have only t no, in this side of the equation. So, meaning we need to eliminate 8. So, this is positive 8, so we need to deduct 8. No? So, 8 minus 8 minus 3t is equal to 2. So, here we... We, we deducted 8 in this part of the equation, so we will also deduct 8 in this part of the equation, or this side of the equation. So this will be equal to 0, so we have negative 3t is equal to, so 2 minus 8, that will be negative 6. So divide both sides by negative 3. So our t is equal to 2. No? So, positive 2 because negative 6, no, divide negative 3, so negative, so that will be positive. This will be cancelled out, okay? So, this will now be our answer, okay? Next, so we have 2, 3, C minus 1 is equal to 3, no? For this one, so we just, again, copy first our given equation. 2, 3, C, okay? 2, 3, C minus 1 is equal to 3. So for this one, we need to first have our equation so that there will be no fraction. So by doing that, we need to find a way that our 3 here will be cancelled. So we need to multiply both sides of the equation with 3. So what will happen now is we have 2 over 3. So this will be multiplied by 3. So, 3 times 1, so they have 1 times 3 here. So, 3 times 3, so this will be 3 times 3. So, the 3 is multiplied in all of the terms or all parts of the equation. So, this will be cancelled out. So, I forgot to write here the C. Okay, so that so now we will have 2C minus, so that is 1 times 3, this is 3, is equal to 9. Then, we need to eliminate 3 here. So, we have 2c minus 3. So, in order for this 3 to become 0, so we need to add 3. You know, because uh, negative 3 plus 3, that is 0. So, 9. So, here we added 3. So, we add also 3 to the other side of the equation. So, we have 2c is equal to 12. You know, because this is just 0. So, divide both sides by 2. So, that this 2 here will be cancelled out. So, our c will be equal to... So, 12 divided by 2. So, C is equal to 6. Okay? Next. So, we have 2X minus 1 is equal to 5X plus 11. So, here we need to find the value of X. Okay? So, we have solution. Okay? So, 2x minus 1 is equal to 5x plus 11. So, we have, so we need to have all our x in this part of the equation, on the left side. So, we have 2x minus 1 is equal to, so we need to eliminate our x here. So, 5x minus 5x plus 11. So, here we deducted 5x, so we must also do the same in this part of the equation. So, let me just add space here. So, negative 5x is equal to this one. So, this will be 0. So, we have 2 minus 5x. So, that will be negative 3x minus 1 is equal to 11. Okay. Then, we will, then the next thing we are going to do is to... Um, to Eliminate this negative 1 in this part of the equation. So we have negative 3x minus 1. So plus 1 is equal to 11 plus 1. Okay, so that will be 0. So negative 3x is equal to 12. So divide both sides by negative 3. Okay, so that we will be only left here with x. So 12 divided by negative 3. So that will be equal to negative 4. Okay, 
So what we are going to do here now is to have a checking. So when we say checking, so we need to uh, to assess no, if our answer is correct. So the the best way to do that is to substitute the x that we have solved to the given equation. So we just have here this part checking. No? So this is to make sure if our answer is correct. So 2x minus 1 is equal to 5x plus 11. So substituting, so 2, our x is negative 4, minus 1 is equal to 5 times negative 4 plus 11. So 2 times negative 4, that is negative 8 minus 1. Okay, and this is equal to 5 times negative 4, negative 20 plus 11. So this is negative 9. So negative 20 plus 11, this is also negative 9. So they are equal, therefore, our value of x is correct. So that is how you are going to do the checking. Okay? Next, we have 16 is equals to 40 plus 2. Okay, solution. Okay, so we, write, we will write first the equation. So 16 is equals to 40 plus 2. So here we are going to apply our discussion on brackets. So we need to distribute 4 in each part of the equation. So we have 16 is equal to 40. So 4 times 3 is 40 plus 4 times 2 that is 8. Okay. So if you want to have this t in this part of the equation, so you need to eliminate t here. So this 16 is equal to 40. This minus 40 plus 8. So we have deducted 40 here. So we must also deduct 40 in this side of the equation. So this will now become 16 minus 40 is equal to 8. So here we need we want also to deduct or we want also to eliminate our 16 in this part of the equation. So what we need to do is to deduct 16. Huh? Then 8. So we deducted 16 here. So we we are also deducting 16 in this part of the equation. This this is zero. So negative 40 is equal to 8 minus 16. So that will be negative 8. No, divide both sides by negative 4. And you will now have your t will be equal to, so this will be cancelled out. So negative 8 divided by negative 4, that will be equal to 2. And this now will be our answer. Okay? Okay, next. So we have this one. So 5f, five, 5 quantity f minus 2, minus 3 quantity 2f plus 2, plus 15 is equal to 0. Okay? So let's... Answer this one. Let's solve for the value of f. Solution. Okay, so we have 5. f minus 2 minus 3. Quantity 2 f plus 5 plus 15 is equal to 0. So we have here. So distribute. So we have 5 f minus 10. Then we have negative 6 f. Negative 15 f. Oh no, only 15. Negative 3 times 5. So negative 15 plus 15 is equal to 0. So negative 15 plus 15, that is equal now to, this is now equal to 0. So we will left with 5f minus 10 minus 6f is equal to 0. So 5f minus 6f, they, have, they are the same, um, they have the same variables, so they are like terms. So 5f minus 6f, that is negative f. Minus 10 is equal to 0. So we need to uh, deduct here, no? 10, so that our 10 here will be eliminated. So we have negative f minus 10 plus 10 is equal to 0 plus 10. So negative f is equal to 0 plus 10, that will be 10. So divide both sides by negative 1, so that we will only be left here with um, with f, no? Because it's negative 1 divided by negative 1, so that is positive 1, so f f is equal to 10 divided by negative 1, so that will be negative 10. Okay, so let's try to have checking for this one. Okay? So checking. And okay, so we have 5, f, minus 2, minus 3, 2, f, quantity 2, f, plus 5, plus 15 is equals to 0. 
So, 5. So, our F is negative 10. Then, minus 2, minus 3, times 2, times negative 10. We'll use here a bracket. No? Then, plus 5, plus 15 is equal to 0. So this will be negative 50. No? Oh, no. We just first have the bracket here. No? So, by the bracket. So, this is negative 12. So, 5 times negative 12. Then we have 3. So this is negative 20 plus 5. So that will be negative 15. So times negative 15 plus 15 is equal to uh, 0. Yeah. Okay, so this is negative 60. No? 5 times negative 12, negative 60. Minus, oh no, plus. No? So negative 3 times negative 15, that is plus 45. Plus 15 is equal to 0. So, 45 plus 15. So, that is positive 60. Then, we have negative 60 plus 60. That is 0 is equal to 0. So, therefore, the value for F that we have solved is correct. Which is equal to negative 10. Okay? And that will be all for this discussion on solving simple equations. So, all you need to do to remember is... To apply no, the basic operation on algebraic expression, the law of precedence, and if you could apply the law of exponent, do so in order for you to solve uh, equations involving one variable, which we called for this discussion as simple equation. Okay, so I hope you understand something in this video. See you on the next video, and of course, enjoy learning.